Hi, I'm Eraldo. In this video, we'll learn how to merge Google Calendars. On the left, I've got a Google account with a personal calendar. And on the right, I've got another Google account with a work calendar. The purpose of this video is for both calendars to be merged together. So personal calendar events go to my work calendar and work calendar events go to my personal calendar. There is a misconception that using the Google Calendar sharing feature allows us to merge two calendars, but that's not the case. And to illustrate that, I'm going to publish the personal calendar and import it to my work account. To do so, under personal calendar, I'll click three dots, click settings and sharing, and I have to make the calendar public. And doing so, Google warns us that the events will be visible to the world, including Google search. I'll hit OK here. I'll scroll until I find the public address in iCal format. I'll copy it. Now I'll open my work account and import the personal calendar. To do so, I'll click the plus icon here over other calendars. I'll click from URL and then paste the personal calendar ICS URL. I'll add the calendar. If I go back here, I'll see that my personal calendar is now under the other calendar section. This is great because it allows me to see my work calendar and personal calendar under the same account and same view, but it doesn't mean that the calendars are merged because the calendars are still separate. So if a coworker were to book a meeting with me on my work calendar, they wouldn't be able to see the personal calendar events. Also, if I open my personal calendar here, I'm not able to see the work events. So all the Google Calendar sharing does is that it allows us to import a calendar into an account, but it doesn't essentially merge accounts. To merge calendars, we have to use a calendar sync tool like OneKind. If we go over to onekind.io, as we see, OneKind is a calendar sync platform that allows us to sync or merge calendars. For example, right now we have synchronized a personal calendar to a work calendar, but also we can synchronize or merge multiple calendars at the same time. So I'll start a free trial here. I'll continue with Google. I'll enter my name and hit continue. Then I'll connect my Google calendars. I've connected my personal and work calendars and hit import. And let's go to the dashboard. The first screen I see on the dashboard is my connected calendars that I just explained, and then the synchronization screen. The synchronization screen allows us to synchronize two or more calendars in real time. I'll start new sync here. The first step is to give the synchronization a name. Given that we're merging the personal and work calendar, I'll give a name of personal work. One card allows one way or multi way things. One way means that we just copy events from a calendar to one or more calendars. Multi-way means that we are essentially merging multiple calendars in real time or synchronizing them. So events from a calendar go to the other calendar and vice versa. Let's select multi-way, hit next. Let's select the calendars we want to synchronize or merge and hit next. The final step is to choose what to merge or synchronize. And this is very important because using one card, we don't have to make the calendars public. We can simply choose what to merge within calendars. Given that we are merging personal with work, we'd want to just merge the availability, but not the event details. So I'll uncheck everything here. And for the events titles, I'll just enter busy and the color of purple and start sync. One card has synchronized the events. I can leverage the calendar view here and select personal and work calendar. And I'll see that I've got an event on my personal calendar that is lunch and an event on my work calendar for the lunch event, but it's just busy here. And same goes for my personal calendar. I have a busy event that belongs to my personal calendar cloned or merged from the work calendar and the work calendar itself. I can also confirm this by opening the work calendar and it has the personal events. Same for the personal calendar. It has the work events. So as seen, the calendars are now really merged. I can also do some tests. For example, on Friday, 
at my personal calendar at 10, 10 a.m. I can create an event one on one with Heraldo. Hit save. And if we go to calendar sync, one card has detected the change and is synchronizing the calendars. If I go to my work calendar here and hit refresh, the event is created as BC. And I can create an event on my work calendar as well on Friday at 4 p.m. focus time. And I'll hit save. One card has picked the change right away, so it's a matter of seconds. And if I open my personal calendar here under focus time and refresh, I'll see that one card has created the events. This can be also reflected to the calendar view. It, it has a focus event on my work calendar and the event that belongs to the personal calendar that is cloned or merged by OneKind. OneKind also offers a scheduling links feature like Calendly that allows you to share your availability via an URL. And also you can invite, pay for your team, create group scheduling and much more. If you have any questions regarding calendar merging or calendars in general, just let us know. Thanks.